Hi and welcome to Jay Hudgens Tech Tips channel. Today I'm going to show you how to program a Yealink T46G phone. It could be a T46U model, doesn't really matter. I'm going to show you how to program the T46. We're going to be using Cordial SIP trunk and in, I'm going to go into my US tech portal right now. Once you're in the portal, you're going to go to services. You're going to go to extensions. Click on add extension. You're going to give it an extension number. We're going to just say 500 name J and outbound caller ID you can choose from whichever ones you have in your portal already e911 location needs to be set we have already created one uh, you would create an e911 over here by filling out the uh, all the fields in the e911 but you won't be able to make outbound calls until that is done uh, this seconds to ring is 25 seconds uh, you can set that to whatever you want, but to provision a phone, you're going to go to Endpoint, because Endpoint's another name for telephone. So you want to go down to Manufacturers, going to be Yealink. So I usually just click on it and hit, uh, and hit Y, and then I hit Tab, Model. We're going to go... We're going to go to T46G. Here it is right here. If you're doing a U or any other ones, you just find the template that they that Cordell has made for you. And we're gonna click on that. You're gonna need the MAC address for that. So we're now going to go into the phone. So what you need to do is press the OK button on your phone after it's plugged in. And you're gonna get the IP address, the IPv4 and I'm gonna open up another browser and put in that address. And I'm going to advance forward to that. By default, the username is going to be admin and the password would be admin, but I've already provisioned this phone, so I'm going to put in my new password. So it would be admin admin. Once you're at this page, um, you're going to get your MAC address right here. So you're going to copy it. You're going to go back to your portal. You're going to go to endpoint. So right here where it says MAC address, remember you are at services. You're under extension standard. And Right here, we're going to put the MAC address. Now, this portal does not like those colons right there, so you need to get rid of those. So I just hit in front of them and backspace and make sure it's all the way to the left. And one more. And once you do that, you can go down here and do your buttons. These are your line key configuration. Automatically, it's gonna have two line keys, extension line keys, and that is a place where your calls can land. You can add buttons using button three. We can make it an extension BLF, a parking BLF. If you're gonna use uh, extension BLF or parking BLF, you can just choose the one you want to use and you everything everywhere there's a little star you need to put a name on it if you don't it won't save right it will give you an error message so that looks right that's an extension BLF now that would allow me on button 3 of my phone um, it'll say J on it because that's the label um, when people hit that button it'll go to my extension now let's make a, let's say we we're going to make a parking key. You would make park, you would select park one, and here you would label it park one. 
Now I've already programmed those, so I'm going to cancel that right now. But after you do all that, you're going to go back into extension standard and you're going to find the extension you just programmed and you're going to click on the edit button. You're going to scroll down to provisioning. This is where you're going to copy and paste these three things into your phone. In your phone you're going to go to settings on the left, you're going to go to auto provisioning because these are templates that Portal already has built in their servers. So this is where we're going to paste those three items, server URL, username, and password. So what you would do is go ahead and copy that. Come over here and you'll notice for Yealink phones in Cordell, you need to put in FTP colon forward slash forward slash before you put the URL. That's FTP colon forward slash forward slash then put the server URL after it. No spaces in between. Then you would go and you would copy the provisioning user. Paste it there. Go back in and copy the password, go back in, paste it there. Now on the bottom, and by the way, up here, polycoms, you do not need to put this FTP colon forward slash forward slash in. You're just going to put the server URL for polycom phones. But after you put all the three of these in here, you're going to go down and you're going to hit confirm. You're going to go back, you're going to scroll back down and where it says auto provision now, you're going to click that and you're going to hit OK. And you should notice your phone syncing with the servers. It will reboot and when it comes back up, it should be programmed. And that's all there is to it.